here we have the temporal bone. The temporal bone is this dark purple bone found on the uh, side of the skull, the lateral aspect of the skull. Um, there are some characteristic features that we need to uh, be able to identify on this bone. So let's just get started with that. The first thing that's the easiest is the external acoustic meatus, which is the opening to the ear canal. So this is the external acoustic meatus. There is a prominent arch here on the um, skull. This arch is called the zygomatic, uh, zygomatic arch, and the temporal bone contributes to that arch. This isn't painted exactly right, so I'm going to cover up the part that should be yellow. This is yellow. This should be yellow to here. From this little uh, suture line right there over, this is the temporal bones contribution to the zygomatic arch. So we call this the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. Zygomatic process of the temporal bone. Let's find those two features on the natural skull. Here we have the external acoustic meatus. Here's the temporal bone. And here is the zygomatic process of the temporal bone again to about there. So it's a, it's a contributor to the zygomatic process. On both of these skulls, you can see pretty clearly the suture line right here. This is the squamosal suture or squamous suture between the temporal and the parietal bones. Notice, you can see it here. This is the squamous or squamosal suture right there. Let um, me turn it this way. There are some other features. Here is a prominent bump. That prominent bump is the mastoid process. A prominent depression here. This depression is where the lower jaw articulates with the skull. If I put the jaw on here, notice that it fits right into that depression. That is called the mandibular fossa, or the depression that the mandible articulates with. We also have on this a couple more processes. We've got the, um, let's find it on this one. Here I am looking at the temporal bone. Here's the temporal bone. Here's the zygomatic process of it. External acoustic meatus, mastoid process. And then look, here's another process. A long needle-like process or pen-like process called the styloid process. I then we have one last characteristic of the t uh, temporal bone and that is seen inside the cranium. Notice this little hilly region. On the posterior side of that, there is an opening. That opening is the internal acoustic meatus. Internal acoustic meatus. And so that means this is part of the temporal bone also.